Lucy, and today we are going to tackle the floor. Um, before I get into it, I always want to check in on my mental health because that is number one important, you know. And if you watched my last video, I did mention that I wasn't doing very good. I acknowledged some of the signs about myself um, that, like, I wasn't taking very good care of myself. My sleep was my sleep was kind of off. You know, so I listed all these things, and I want to touch base with you on it, because those are the things that I, I want to say I can't help, but I can, actually. I can help those things. Sometimes I can't prevent them from happening, but I can really notice them and take care of myself to help build me up. And so that's what I found super important with this house, right? This house is so broken. There is so much to always do. But... I can take a breath and say, okay, this is something that needs to be taken care of, and I am capable of doing it. I am. Even if I don't believe it, some days I'm like, this is so overwhelming. What can I do? And so with my mental health, I listed all those things that weren't so good. You know, I wasn't, I'm not eating right. I'm not sleeping right. Um, I'm not taking care of myself. <clears throat> those things. And because I said them out loud, I have been able to, I've been taking my medication very strictly at the time that I need to, every single day, right? Regardless of if I'm doing something or not, if my alarm goes off, I'm taking my meds because I know how important that is for me and my regularity. <laughs> also, I'm eating at least two meals a day. Um, I don't care what it is <clears throat> at this point, you know, because I'm, I'm trying to meet myself to where I'm at. So as long as I'm eating something within those two days, or two days, like eating something twice a day, um, I'm okay with that. It doesn't have to be healthy. It doesn't have to be unhealthy. I just eat a meal, you know, and, and I've noticed that because of that, now I'm cooking a little bit more, and so now I'm in a better habit today of actually eating something more healthy, a healthier choice, and I feel better for it. But I just had to beat myself down to the level that I was at for that day. You know, so those are the changes that I am making in my life as they come. Also, taking care of myself. Uh, you know, I'm showering on a regular basis. I've got a little makeup on today. Like, I'm having a good day, and I'm grateful for that. I read somewhere today, actually, I think it came up on my reel, that um, if you're not feeling good, take a shower. Keep it simple. And I'm like, oh, that's, that is a great advice. Just take a shower. That's it. And I, sometimes that's harder to say than others, but it's true. If, it, if you were just to hop in, take a quick shower, automatically your body feels cleaner and feels just a little bit better. So, simple advice, it doesn't have to be over, overthought, all right? Just, you don't feel so good, take a quick shower, okay? Or take a bath, whatever it is. Um, and just start there. Start where you are at, but always push yourself up. And so today, in this house, we are starting from the bottom, and that is this floor right here. I'm sitting on the floor for a reason, because right now it is just plywood. It's just subflooring. And I'm super excited because this I've been planning for a very long time, all right? Because how the floor needs to be treated takes like multiple layers of, of stuff to do. And so I've been gathering the materials that I need for this floor because I don't want to do it in parts. With this bathroom, I have to take out the toilet to get the floor in. And um, because I have to lay down some self-love work. So you guys, I'm not going to have a toilet for like a few days. I know. I was so excited about it. I made a whole video about it. And I was like, I'm never going to take this toilet for granted ever again. And now I have to pull it out. So, but the good news is that I've prepped, I've gathered all my materials, and for the next few days I will be focusing nothing but getting a proper floor into this bathroom. And I'm really, really excited about it. This is something I've never done before. I've never, well, I have put in vinyl, but the subflooring and all that stuff, I just popped the vinyl, in right, vinyl tiles in right on top. It was nothing fancy. And for my home, it deserves to be done the correct way. So, please follow me. I don't know how many series this is going to take as far as video goes, um, but I, God, I am I am pumped. I'm excited. I'm doing new things. I'm learning new things. I'm slightly worried about it. But it's okay because actions speak 
louder than words. And today, I've asked God to use my hands to help me build. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity to keep doing it. So, all right, you guys. Let's get to work. Okay, guys. So, the first thing that I have to do to get these floors going is to take out the toilet. And I just explained, like, sometimes... I feel like I made so much progress, right? And then my da like my bipolar took me down a few notches. In the house, the same thing, right? We just got the toilet in. It felt so good to have some progress. But for just a brief moment, I've got to take it out, bring it down, you know, take it out, and we're gonna put it, put some fluorine in so that we can put the toilet back on top. Same principle. I love how my house works so well with me. I really do. So let's get working. Bye. 